little update on the fill valves. I put my O25 delivery valves back in. Put a, some five by 16 injectors in it. Still run the 62 millimeter SXE on it. Got a 75 millimeter board one right here, 75. I don't know all the specs on it. It's got a 132 housing on the back. So yeah, as soon as I get a manifold and a piping kit, I'm stuck between building my own turbo kit or uh, buying one, probably just gonna end up buying one so I ain't gotta mess with it and have my truck tore apart for a long time. Probably, I'm gonna take this off, paint it just like this, slick it down, paint that gloss back. All my piping's gonna be black. So yeah, I got enough fuel for seven horsepower right now. I took the big delivery valves out because it was just a little bit too hot for my liking. Uh, it's still pretty pretty hot. Just I don't use the truck for towing that much anymore, so it don't much matter. I don't have to use it till I put this on. When I put this on, I'll start using it a little bit. So I'm just I'm gonna put it on. I'm not worried about head studs yet. And then just as soon as I, as soon as possible, we got a mill and stuff, so I can mill my own rocker pedestals down so just as soon as i get a chance i'll buy some studs to put in it after i get my manifold and piping kit on it so yeah i'm a, i'm just putting it on there i'm not going to turn my truck up any i got the afc live turned down right now and i'm just going to run it just like it is trying not to be too hard on trying to blow a head gasket until i get a chance to put some studs in it but yeah i'm pretty well this is probably gonna be the last build on this truck i'd say uh, just about 700 is all it's going to really want 700 750 somewhere around in there with the, this charger set up fuel set up that's about what i got i'm already going to put another clutch in it but uh i'm going to start working on my new truck over there 2017 cummins i'm going to get it deleted i'm gonna go for about eight to nine hundred with it i think or if i don't I want to get a third gen and make it plumb rowdy. You know, seven hundred horsepower is a lot of power, but today's world, it's not. It's nothing to write home about. I want a truck to compete with, and I really want it to be a single cab, long bed, third gen. This truck, it's just about got to its point where it's going to cost too much money to make it any better than it is going to be with this. I'm going to have to build the trans already. And I just, I just don't want all that money tied up in this truck. I want to restore it and get it to look like a pretty, pretty well new one. Leave it about 700 and just, just enjoy it. My papa's old truck. I just don't want to go all out crazy with it. So, plan after I get this one done and get that truck deleted. If I decide to make that truck rowdy, or if I decide to go ahead and buy a third gen and actually build a proper street truck race truck something like that not not a full-out race truck but something that's something that's pretty pretty wild so let me know what y'all want to see i'll for sure take a video of putting the manifold and uh, uh all the turbo piping on on this truck make sure to post it and tell y'all what i think about it i'm gonna go with the crazy carl kit and probably a steed speed uh, yeah let me know what y'all want to see on it thanks for watching guys